The Ministry of Petroleum Resources has held a retreat to discuss developments in the oil sector with a focus on revamping the nation's refineries and accelerating gas development. Rita Osakwe reports. As the first quarter of the year draws to a close, ministers, heads of agencies and directors in the oil and gas sector are meeting to take stock of achievements made so far and outline plans for the next three years. It's the first day of a three-day retreat on the targets set by President Bola Tinubu last year. At that retreat, the president warned his cabinet to perform in line with his Renewed Hope agenda or be sacked. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Petroleum Resources set the tone, calling for synergy among agencies for a practical change in the oil and gas sector. He outlined key areas, including accelerating gas development as ways to reform the sector. In alignment with the presidential priorities, we have developed 16 crucial deliverables aimed at driving progress and sustainable development. These deliverables encompass a wide range of objectives, including optimizing fiscal incentive for investment in both oil and gas, as stipulated in the Petroleum Industry Act. The administration aim is to settle all outstanding liabilities with gas producers and accelerate the completion of critical oil pro projects, such as refineries. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Oil, said fixing refineries, increasing production, and tackling insecurity and pipeline vandalism will create the best environment for investment. The first target, as you rightly know, is to see how we can ramp up production. If we ramp up production, we'll be able to meet you know, our targets you know, in terms of increase in revenue, you know, for our production, we'll be able to meet our target in our obligations, you know, in the uh, midstream and downstream. Part of the challenge I'm afraid of is whether, even if we finish fixing our refineries, whether we'll be able to get fixed up. It will be very embarrassing that when we finish rehabilitating our refineries in Port Harcourt, in Wari and Kaduna, with Dangote refinery coming on board with Boa, with a couple of modular refineries that have signed, and let me also say here that I've signed a couple of modular refineries without knowing the math queries behind them. I don't want to know who is the owner of those companies. But I've also warned them that as I didn't know you before I signed your, you know, your license, I don't want to know you before I cancel it. Nigeria holds the largest natural gas reserves on the continent. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Gas, says Nigeria must prioritize gas infrastructural development to harness its potential. He also highlighted the importance of gas as a bridge between fossil fuels and renewable energy. One of the key elements in our transition towards a more sustainable energy future lies in the strategic utilization of natural gas. As we stand at the crossroad of energy evolution, Gas emerges as a vital transition fuel that holds the potential to bridge the gap between traditional fossil fuels and renewable sources of energy. Ensuring the widespread penetration of gas nationwide is essential to realizing its full potential as a transition fuel. This entails not only increasing domestic gas production, but also promoting the adoption of gas as a cleaner alternative for power generation. On the first day of this retreat, ministers and heads of agencies are working together towards one goal, to reposition the oil and gas sector for optimal performance in developing Nigeria's economy. Rita Osakwe, Arise News.